Hello, I'm Andrew Raleigh with JM Performance Products. We're here at the 2014 IMTS, and today we're going to be talking about our high torque retention knobs. Our high torque retention knobs are designed to remove tool holder harmonics, and they work by removing the elasticity of the tool holder. If you look at a traditional tool, tool holder, you'll begin to see two fretting marks. First fretting mark is here, and the second fretting mark is here at the gauge line. What happens is when you install a traditional retention knob, it will actually deform the taper. You will notice that this thread here matches the thread and this will mark here. We took two retention knobs with exact same head dimensions. And if you see right here, what we have done is place an undercut underneath the flange and place the threads into a deeper cross section of the tool holder. As you can see, is what we're doing is placing the threads in a deeper section of the tool holder, causing the force to be pulled up here, preventing the tool holder from expanding. This in turn increases tool life, reduces harmonics, and gives you better taper fit. Over here is our clamp force draw bar gauge. It is featuring a HSK A63 adapter at the moment. The gauge is used for checking clamping force in the spindle. This gauge can also be used for CAT40, CAT50, HSK, CAPTO, and KM tooling. It easily changes from HSK to CAPTO. What you would do to change from HSK to a CAT40 is like this. And then you put the spindle sleeve over. And then the key is to use the retention knob from the machine that you're testing. Right here is an example of a Haas knob. You would then put the drawbar gauge into the spindle of the machine, energize the spindle, and the spindle will, clamping force will read out here in pounds of force. What you're looking for is a movement of 80% or more of the original clamping force. We also make the same gauge in a strain gauge. And this here features a digital gauge, has the same universal change of adapters, but allows to have menu function of reporting the different machines and also the operators. Right here, we can record the different machines, then we can select the operator, which allows 100% traceability. Once you've selected your machine and operator, you would put the gauge into the taper of the spindle, energize the spindle, and it will read out in pounds of force. So Dick Reimer, sales engineer with JM Performance Products. What Dick is getting ready to do is demonstrate how a tool holder gets deformed by a retention knob. What he's doing right now is zeroing in the gauge, and he's looking at the height off the flange, and at the moment it's looking at the radius. And he's showing how the business card inserted will actually pick up measurements, where this gauge is accurate to one ten thousandth of an inch. So now he's zeroed all of this gauge's dial indicators. He's going to remove the taper help gauge. And now we're going to insert a standard retention knob. This is a command RC42E. He's installing 60 foot pounds of torque on this. We use 60 foot pounds. This is an average that we found that most people are using uh, in their machines. So now he's going to take that same gauge, which was all zeroed out. And you can see the dial indicators have moved. How much movement do we have there, Richard? Uh, about 18 tenths. 18 tenths. But then that, this is the more important part. Right now we're going to show what the side-to-side -side movement is on this particular holder. With the long reach, it's going to be huge. So what we're showing is basically how that tool holder is moving at the gauge line. So while your tool holder is cutting, it's basically moving back and forth and your tooling is moving during engagement. So now we're going to remove the retention knob and we're going to install a JM Performance Products high torque retention knob. The retention knobs, the key difference between a JM retention knob and a standard retention knob is the undercut of the retention knob and the, the threads. What we're doing is placing the force of the threads into a deeper cross section of the tool holder. This prevents the tool holder from expanding. Also, I'm doing the same 60 foot pounds. Where are you?
But the real key is now you have full taper contact and you're no longer moving at the gauge line, which th this in turn will lead to about 20% increase in tooling life and also increase in spindle life. Also, this should be torqued on a normal Cat 40 machine to 30 foot pounds, but we use 60 just to show the same tightening effect on the, on the holder. To learn more about JM Performance products, please visit us at booth W2179 in West Hall.